I studied hundreds of natural ways to boost your testosterone. And here are five things that I found that can increase your testosterone levels today. And it took me from this to this. And the last tip, it's not what you think. You see, 99% of men are doing things that kill their testosterone without them knowing. And it's likely the reason why your testosterone is in the low 300s. And I'll be honest, it's not because you're an inferior man, but there is a step-by-step -step framework that top men do that puts them in a unique and unfair advantage ahead of their peers. It's the same framework that can take you from a soy boy to a giga chad. It's the same framework that took me from this to this. And I'm giving these steps away completely for free because six months ago, I quit my job and I'm moving back in with my parents because I'm on a mission to help a thousand men become the best possible versions of themselves. There is one thing like that hyper successful men like Richard Branson, Tom Hardy and Ben Affleck do. And it's often something they don't scream and shout about. It means they don't waste money on the weekends and they can focus on their goals, whether that's starting an airline or becoming a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu master. Stop drinking alcohol. You see, when you stop drinking alcohol, not only do you stop wasting money on the weekend, but you also stop consuming phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens mimic the effects of estrogen in your body. You see, this guy here, he was, he was drinking every Friday. He was unhappy. He was realizing day by day that he was morphing into a man that he despised. He became, I became average. I'm now gonna share with you how I stopped drinking every Friday. Step one, I made the decision to only drink on my friend's birthdays plus special events. This took my minimum at days I consumed alcohol from 52 to a maximum of 15. Step two was then deciding, okay, I don't wanna drink on my friend's birthdays anymore. I'm just gonna drink on mine. This took the days I consumed alcohol down from 15 to three. Then step three is making that mental switch, realizing alcohol no longer serves you. Now, what do you do now that you've saved up all this money from not drinking alcohol? You see, every 1% man does this, whether they're Iman Gadzi, Hamza, Kevin Hart, or The Rock. And this is actually not gonna surprise you, but going to the gym. You see, going to the gym is scientifically proven to increase testosterone levels in men up to an hour after working out. Not only is it good for your testosterone levels, but it's also good for your longevity as a man. I've left a free workout plan below for you to follow if you just need that extra bit of guidance. Now, what if I told you there was a natural supplement you could take? This supplement, men like Andrew Huberman are taking it. Joe Rogan are taking it. They're called natural testosterone support supplements. But before we get there, let's make sure you're getting adequate levels of zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, and omega-3. These are vital for testosterone levels in men. If you wanna go that extra step, you can look at compounds like Tonka Ali and Fadashi Aggressives. I've linked a Tonka Ali study below, but taking 400 mg of Tonka Ali has shown signs in natural, healthy young men, it's shown signs of increasing testosterone levels. Great. So now we've got you going to the gym. We've got you taking supplements like vitamin D, magnesium, omega-3, and we've reduced your alcohol consumption. But the next two points are vital and the most important things you can do to boost your testosterone today. The next point I'm about to go through, it's been trending all over social media. It's seen the rise of influencers like this and the rise of influencers like that, simply because they're promoting a natural way of doing things. I'm calling this the war on big food. To break it down, eat as close to the ground as possible. So avoid eating cereals, processed foods like crisps, uh, instant noodles, hot dogs, and start eating more whole foods and fruits. You see, if you eat food that's grown from the ground and, and food that's made from animals that eat from the ground, you're more li likely to be a healthy individual. However, if you start consuming an abundance of chocolates, if you start consuming an abundance of crisps, you're gonna get breakouts of acne, you're gonna feel tired, you're gonna feel lethargic, and you're gonna feel aggressive. This is because you have a shit diet. Now, you can do all of the above and still have low testosterone. You see, 85% of the US population fails to do this. It's an industry worth over 60 billion US dollars. If it wasn't natural, it would be illegal to take this supplement in sporting events. Getting eight hours of sleep. Yes, I did make you wait till the end of the video to hear this one, but it's vital for both our general well-being as individuals, 
but also for your testosterone production. You see, <clears throat> in 1942, the average American was getting 7.9 hours of sleep. Today, it's as little as 6.8. Sleep is so important for your testosterone production. A study in Chicago found that if you got as little as five hours of sleep a day, your testosterone would drop by 15% for that day. Just think about it. If you wanted to be 13% ahead of the population and get 13% better quality sleep, all you have to do is sleep 1.2 hours more than them. Doing this stuff is great in a perfect world. However, life can often throw you curveballs that can throw you off track. There is something that I've been practicing over the last 12 months that has rapidly improved my mental fortitude. So check out this video here where I show you what I did to build a more callous mind.